Good morning, sunshines. Happy Vlogmas day one. Ah! Da 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 da, making our Christmas memories. I was just reviewing some comments on my last video, and it would seem, is that dog moving on its own, or do I just watch too many horror movies? <sighs> the answer is I watch too many horror movies. <laughs> You guys said the video was too short. I didn't know that was a thing. And honestly, I had fully planned on a lot of shorter videos for Vlogmas coming up. And now I see that that is not acceptable. Ruby, you follow me all the way up here? We've been organizing in here, so it's a kind of a mess. By organizing, I mean making a mess, obviously. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. It is Thanksgiving week. Vlogmas officially starts next week. This week? This weekend? Oh dear, perhaps this should be a vlogmas video. Dun dun dun! What do you think about vlogmas would be? This year's officially gonna be the latest I've ever decorated for Christmas because I was just so frustrated unboxing things alone that I just didn't have the mental capacity to also decorate Christmas stuff at the same time. Because when it's cluttered, you can't decorate, you know what I mean? Because I'm already stressed because it's cluttered. That's that. Where is Max? I fed him and then he went somewhere. Let's find him. Sometimes he's here. Sometimes not in his cat bed. He's in this box of clothes. Oh my gosh, speak of the devil. Look who just came up to say hi, my mans. Oh, hi, Maxie. Do Ruby and Max get along? You know, Max is irritably tolerant of her, and she is just a kitten. When I got Ruby, I thought she was eight months old, and then they told me she was a year. And then they told me she was six months old. So there's a bit of confusion on how old she was. <laughs> and I thought she was a little older. I guess six months to a year isn't that big of a difference regardless. But she wants to play a lot and Max wants to play about 1% of the time and she wants to play about 20% of the time and they both sleep all the rest of the time. So they're pretty low maintenance little babies. I've only caught them in like once where he hissed at her. She does not care whatsoever. She is not deterred. She's not scared of him. <laughs> she just continues to play. He's my grumpy old man. Oh, I love him so much. Okay, enough kitty talk. Ooh, another random update for me. Texas, my skin is thriving here. Okay, I know it's not the best skin regardless because I'm just not one of those people with flawless ass skin, but I break out at least once a week in LA, at least something and a lot of times it's those ones that are just under the skin that just like are painful and irritating and I don't know if it's the dryness or the pollution that does it but here even when I've accidentally slept to my makeup which has happened like once or twice I still haven't broke out and I'm like I mean I still have all my scarring and stuff you know I'm, I'm me whatever but thriving thriving in the humidity here it's not super humid but it's a little humid also, fun fact, my butt is so sore every day, not even from my workouts, which I know because it's always sore on weird points where I'm like, okay, I worked out arms yesterday, why is my butt sore? And it's because there's so many damn stairs in this apartment. And because I, my bedroom is on the first floor and my office is on the third, and my makeup room's on the third. So it's like, to get ready, I have to go to the third floor. And then to get my clothes, I have to go back to the first floor. And it, it, it's just a lot. I end up going up and down just a lot more than I did when I lived in my four-story townhome previously. I never like went up and down as often. My first floor was my guest bedroom and that was it. So I never was on the first floor. I was just on the second and third and that's it. And then in my last apartment, I had to go up six flights of stairs just to get to the apartment, which is why I never left it. But once I was there, it was one floor and I didn't have to go up and down anything. So here, <laughs> wow, I am just killing it. What I should have done is just put the guest floor on the third floor and then I would have never had to go up there. All would have been right there. It's fine, I'm not complaining because I kind of like it. I was saying my butt has been randomly sore. And that's how much my glutes activate though. Going up the stairs, apparently that's what I'm using to do it. Also, I lug a lot of boxes up and down the stairs. But anyway, <laughs> You guys want a longer video? You're gonna have a lot of fucking rambles from me. What are you doing, guys? Look at them, they just follow me everywhere. Are you guys my little fluffy shadows? My little fluffy shadows that just wanna be with me everywhere? How did you get my sock? Why do you have my sock? 
Why do you have my sock, Ruby? Today's goal is to make some Vlogmas content. I need to decorate. I'll give you two other, and I don't know if they're updates, just like what's going on. This is the Christmas tree. I moved it from where it was over there to over here, and there's nothing on it because, I don't know if it's because I'm buying cheap lights or what, but my Christmas lights break like every other year. It's very annoying, so I need new lights for it. And I like to put the lights on first, so that's why nothing's on it. <sighs> also, I keep buying cat towers. They haven't even used this one yet, and I just built it yesterday, though. But look at it, it's like, kind of cool and kind of sleek. I don't know if they like it yet, but they do like this one. I've seen them in this one. This is a banana filled with catnip. <laughs> oh, we've made some updates in the guest bedroom. Not much going on in here, but I'll show you. So I got this bed frame. It's really cute. It smells so odd. Like, it smells like a mixture of like fresh pine and like B.O. It's not the best, I'm not gonna lie, but it's whatever, it's there. I don't have a linen closet, <laughs> it's not the moment. I've improvised until I get shelving somewhere else. And I've made this kind of like linens and blankets. Max also likes to sleep in this thing because he's naughty, naughty, naughty. But, go, it's kind of cute. That's all that's kind of going on in here right now. I'm still just trying to figure out where to put things and I'm trying to not minimalize, but just minimalize a little bit. Just less stuff so I'm not as, I don't know, confused all the time. This is my closet, which I'm considering purging again because honestly, it's just too much again. I got this thing. I don't have a dresser anymore. It's just things, it's just, it's just, it's just stuff. I've been sleeping on top of my comforter because this is a weighted blanket. Wow. Ugh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I found this bad boy at Target for $60. It's a 15 pound, I think it's a 15 pound. It feels heavier though when you pick the whole thing up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure it's more than 15 pounds. We should weigh it. Let's do it right now. Let's do a scientific study and let's weigh it. Cause I'm curious. Okay, fully clothed, I'm gonna weigh myself, see how much I weigh, and then I'm gonna pick up a blanket, see how much I weigh with the blanket, okay? I'm betting that it's more than 15 pounds. That's my hypothesis, okay? 111.12 when just me. So if it was 15 pounds, then it should say 126, whatever. Okay, let's see what it says. Okay, maybe I'm a weenie, but what does that say? It's too much hair and blanket in the way. Oh my God, I missed it, but I think the camera got it. <laughs> Upon reviewing the footage, it said 129.6, which is technically more than 15 pounds. That's like 18. <laughs> I've just heard through the grapevine, whatever, that weighted blankets relieve anxiety and stuff. Whatever, I have anxious thoughts, don't we all? So, I would agree. I think it's very comforting. Occasionally, I wake up and it feels very hot. <laughs> but not, not too often. I guess I don't really like turn my AC or heat on when the weather's like 50 to 60 outside. I just kind of let it do whatever, so it's kind of cold, so I just kind of hot, whatever. So, for the most part, it's been just kind of cold. Let's see. This is literally me 10 times a day, seeing which floor that I left my phone on. Weather today. Oh, love that for us. It's 51. It says Austin. It says 51 degrees. Honestly, after being in such kind of stable weather in Austin for so long, in Austin, I can't, I was thinking about the lighting, not thinking about what I was saying. After being in such stable weather in California, that's where I was, Los Angeles for so long, it's been very nice to have a bit of cold. Just a little bit. This isn't even very cold, obviously. Whatever. But it's gonna warm back up and that's disappointing. Not cold. I wanted to say this nice, moderate 50 degree temperature until February. And then I would like it to get warm again. And then I would like it to not exceed 90 degrees. <laughs> that's your morning update, Mickey B. Also, just cause it's here and we're chatting and apparently six minute videos are not acceptable. <laughs> I even, th whatever. This is my Nintendo Switch. If you are in any way, shape, or form a gamer, 
you don't have to get a PlayStation or an Xbox. In fact, I left both of mine behind. I gave them to Miles because they were like the older versions of the PS4 and the Xbox. I want a new version, so I don't have either right now. <laughs> but when Final Fantasy VII comes out in March, I'm gonna get a PlayStation again, but I'm getting off topic again. Okay, this is a po Pokemon. <laughs> Why? <gasps> this is a Nintendo Switch. It holds many games on it. You just download them. You don't need the disc for a little thing of it or anything. I will be showing you butt to camera. Oh, it's not on the camera. She has extra fur around her tush and she gets stuff stuck on it. It's not my favorite thing, but you know, I love her. So, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm like selling the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> whatever. What I play on here the most is Stardew Valley. I bet it can show you how many hours I played it. Stardew Valley is my go-to airport game and I play it when I'm like on flights to Australia or the UK or anywhere like that. I just, it's what I do because it's boring. I saw it the other day and I was like, why would you tell people that? Oh yeah, you can. I've played um, <laughs> Stardew Valley for 210 hours. I've had it for years though and I, I pretty much only play it on flights. I can't, I don't really ever play it at home. My last game that I played a lot was Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which I had fun with. I played for 50 hours. And now I've just gotten the new Pokemon Sword, which is the first Pokemon game that I've played that didn't have like the original Pokemon in it. Like this guy right here, Pikachu. Okay, Ruby versus Pikachu. Pikachu uses thunder. It has no effect. Pikachu uses Tackle! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is my life. This is what happens when you live by yourself and you're almost 30. Anyways, this game is very fun. This game. This console is nice because it's portable. You can also like hook it up to your TV. Sometimes I'll play on the TV if I'm just feeling super adventurous that day. And it's a nice thing to wind down or I particularly like it when I'm somewhere that I don't want my phone to die. So I don't just wanna sit there scrolling through Instagram or playing a phone game because I need my battery life on my phone. It's very valuable in saving me in a lot of situations. So if I don't wanna waste my battery on this, I have the Switch and they also, and I'm not sponsored or selling this at all, but I know they just came out with like an, uh, a Switch Lite. So that one, I don't think the controllers come off. And I think you can only play it on the console, so, but it's smaller than this, smaller than this. So it's probably like easier to fit into your purse and stuff with this, whatever. I just think everyone should enjoy video games because they're a good activity for keeping your mind, you know, working. You gotta keep your mind stimulated because TV and stuff doesn't do that for me, so. I watch a lot of TV too, though I'm pathetic. <laughs> Being very comfy under that weighted blanket is not a safe place to be for productivity. Making our Christmas memories. Sometimes I just come out here and think, like, I bought a whole ass house. A whole house. This is not something that I thought I would achieve. I don't know. Not not ever, but I don't know. With this career and everything, or career, whatever I'm doing. I bought a whole house. A whole house. The whole thing's mine. Well, kind of, I think. Technically, the bank kind of owns it still because I have a mortgage, but... Max, you're just out here enjoying it. I feel very accomplished. I'm proud of this house. And I love living just like in a little neighborhood. It's so cute. And everything's so close. There's an H-E-B down the road. And my vet's down the road. And I have the cutest vet ever for Max. And my gym is close. And I have multiple gym options. I don't know. Everything's just cool. I really, 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 really love Austin so far. Absolutely everything about it. All the restaurants we've been to, all the the gyms, the the house, the everything. I just love everything. I'm just I'm feeling very grateful. Hashtag Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hashtag thankful. Here's an example of what happens when you try to do anything with cats. I'm over here. Trying to edit a video and do stuff on my computers and these monsters will be they're monsters. See these beautiful orchids that Whitney got for me. She sent me the cutest little card. This is from Navy Whitney and Indigo. Doe. 
Orchids are my favorite. All right, I wanna wrap this Vlogmas Day 1 up. I didn't intend for it to be Vlogmas Day 1, but that's what it's going to be now because I didn't realize December 1st was so close. <laughs> so, we're gonna end it with a meal because I'm hungry. So, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, no. Wow. Mm. I think I'm gonna do corn, beans. I have one more Beyond Burger patty left. And I have some of this rice medley from Trader Joe's. I think I'm gonna make a little delicious meal. <laughs> so these are microwave safe. You put it in for three minutes. Make sure my hair doesn't look absolutely atrocious like it did in the rest of the video, but that's okay. Three minutes in the microwave, easy peasy. These are from a can, but I didn't use the whole can. So this is leftover. So I'm gonna make a little serving and I'll probably also put that in the microwave and then I'm gonna make this in the air fryer because I love the air fryer stuff. Alexa, play Christmas music. Alexa, volume six. so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep yeah I spend my time running around keeping people please but this is my favorite holiday it's a chance to start over new because I missed you so I'm late she's beautiful that's <laughs> my little blob of hummus <laughs> we're losing the light so I'm gonna go ahead and conclude Vlogmas day one. I can't wait, I'm so hungry, this is gonna be so good. But yeah, that's all for me. Make sure you comment what you'd like to see in Vlogmas and everything else. Um, it always helps me to get ideas from you guys. And I'm just excited to be with you every day this month. I hope you can put up with me that long. So without, you know, yeah, okay, that's it. Talk to you guys in the next one. Ta-ta for now, bye. Get our Christmas memories. Oh.